Coach, congratulations, another conference win today. Um, to do it in front of the alumni, some of your former players, um, to do it in, in the manner you did, a big win here against King. Uh, talk about the performance today. Well, it's just weird at this point I've been at UNCP long enough that former players are coming back that I coach, so that makes me feel very old. <laughs> but um, proud of the guys. I mean, we came out really well in the first half. I thought we set the tone early. Um, obviously, got a couple of lulls. We got to shore up, especially on the defensive end. I um, thought we, take care of the, we took care of the basketball pretty well today. Um, 20 assists, 11 turnovers is probably the best margin we've had this year, I think, um, ratio-wise. Um, defensively, we were, we were almost giving it away at the end as far as trying to get the percentages that we need them to. But found a way to come through, and then on, on the boards, I was proud that we were able to keep them off because they are a very, very good rebounding team. Yeah, and then here today and against Mount Olive, the team's just come out red hot from three. Is that something that you guys were planning on, or is that just how the, the pace of the game went? I don't think you could ever plan on making shots. It's just one game you make them, another game you don't. And that's why we try to emphasize the things that we emphasize because we try to just, the things that we try to control in the game are the things that our team, regardless of shots are going in, our team can every day walk on the court and be able to do. That's why our identity is what it is. And, you know, obviously if shots can go in, it helps out a bunch. But when all, uh, there's been times this year in games and probably in the future that shots aren't going in, well, how else can you win basketball games? And that's why we emphasize the things we do so well. Yeah, uh, and then Nigel, uh, another solid game for you. Finished with 19.7 rebounds, I believe. Um, how have you seen yourself in a leadership role as far as this team as the year's gone on? Well, uh, honestly, I just feed off each other's people's energy. Like, they look at me as the energy man, so I just come in and just be me, honestly. Just lift my teammates up and just be a leader. Yeah, and then uh, Javante coming off the bench. The bench as a whole today, I think, finished with 33 bench points or something like that. So um, when the bench is cooking like that and everybody's kind of meshing together, talk about that chemistry that you guys have. And we stop. Uh, we got two platoons, basically. You can put both fathers in and we all go to work, or you can mix and match. Uh, if we continue to go the way we're going, we're going to be tough to beat. Yeah, and then uh, Brad, another scrappy game for you. It seems like every every game we see you get uh, hurt in some manner. I saw you jam your finger at one point, but keep battling through it. Um, talk about the adversity that uh, that you guys have faced, even with this big win streak. Uh, at the end of the day, really, when adversity hits, it's just about how you're gonna respond. That's the biggest thing, and we've been responding great to adversity this year. So hopefully, we'll keep it up. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you.